I represent the Clinic for Orthopedic Surgery, Trauma Surgery and Plastic Surgery as the clinic's managing director. We are a comprehensive clinic with about 145 beds and 6,000 inpatients. We have approximately 7,000 operations a year. The focus is in the area of spine, trauma surgery, orthopedics, pediatrics, septic surgery, endoprosthetics and plastic surgery. There is practically no surgery where a C-arm is not used. We must check our repositioning of fractures or even the corrections. We need to know where our plates, screws, nails and fixators are located. For this purpose, optimal imaging is required in order to have a correct and assured result for the patient. In surgery, we always strive to have the best instruments and the best equipment. This offers a higher level of safety for our patients and better quality of our operations. The more optimal the imaging, the more precise your surgery can be. Thus, mistakes are avoided earlier, especially incorrect positioning of implants that you introduce into the body. The flat panel is really a great development, almost a quantum leap. I had not expected that quality. With the flat panel, we achieve image quality as we have not known so far. It can indeed be compared with CT scans. First, we need the C-arm for the operation planning and to identify where we would like to operate. Then, we need the C-arm for checking our repositioning, whether we have reduced the fracture or brought the misalignment in the direction in which we want to have it. Thirdly, if we want to assure intraoperatively if everything is properly positioned, this is where the C-arm is very important. You can always monitor the various steps of the surgery with the C-arm. The areas of applications for the C-arm, especially in 3D technology, will grow rapidly. It brings us to a position to achieve three-dimensional imaging and thus to monitor our implants in three-dimensional space to check their positioning. This is especially true in the already established spinal surgery and pelvic surgery but also wherever implants are used in the joint area, where we can reach with screws and nails in the joint itself, which we do not want. All these can be monitored with the help of the intraoperative 3D scan relatively quickly and very safely. Any possible misalignments during surgery can be corrected, sparing the patient the need for a revision surgery. Using the 3D option, the surgery can be clearly divided into various intermediate steps, steps in which your surgery result can be checked thoroughly 100%. You can then safely base the next steps of the operation. This hasn't been fully possible up till now. You performed your surgery up to the end. You could, in fact, take simple X-ray images, but spatial control was not possible. That has often led to a situation where you have noticed only at the end of the case, a day later or two days later, that something is not optimal here. Whether it is the repositioning, whether you have reconstructed the joints properly, or whether the implant is placed properly or not. And now, you can divide it appropriately into intermediate steps and analyze it exactly in 3D.